So with the stadium filled, much like the capacity, Celtic kick off. And they received a very warm welcome, of course, from their supporters after the heroic performance on Saturday. You'll see the Celtic players playing with numbers on their backs. UEFA rules dictate. And Celtic on the attack straight away. Narconada at full stretch. To turn that behind from Frank McGarvey. Well, just the start that Celtic wanted. Pouring the central defenders forward. Aiken and McAdam in the box. There's Roy Aiken, marked all the way back. Davy Province corner kick. McLeod back to Aiken. Every Spanish player back in the box for that corner kick. Green plays it forward. There's Nicholas. Just too neat with that little layoff aim for Father McLeod. There's McGarvey. Again, being forced to go back. Paul McStay available square using Father McLeod. And it's Real on the break. Zamora. Filayeta. That very loose pass inside is picked up by David Proven. And a free kick given to Real. The victim was Ufate, and the referee who gave it is Mr. Alex Pony from Belgium. So the pressure goes off the Spanish defence. Ola Itzola with the free kick. Commanding header out by McAdam. There's Sinclair. He's found Proven. McGarvey making headway on the right. Nicholas waiting in the middle. And that'll be another corner kick. Celayeto with the clearing header. Well, no, it may just have gone for a throw. The corner flag. Charlie Nicholas. He's got another corner kick. So Aiken again coming forward for Celtic. Dangerous ball, Arcanada under pressure. And the free kick is given right on the goal line. Touch on by McGarvey. Well, it's kept in play by Satustigi. And McAdam doing a fine job covering across. So Aiken surging forward. The Spanish players funneling back. Everyone facing the ball as McGrain looks for a gap ahead. Robin losing it to Ufate, and that's returned to him by Oletzola. McStay getting back. Good piece of defending by young Paul McStay, who certainly looks fit and sharp. Zamora turning it back. Arcanara looking very cool indeed in the Spanish goal. Look at him again. This is Ufate leaving it in midfield to Zubiaga. Ufate again. Zamora is the man they're always looking for in midfield. Number 10. And it's Real Sociedad who have the throw. Sinclair challenging and McLeod pumping it forward to let 
by Garvey Chase. Silayeta with the throw for Real. Caron well over on the left. The player is looking for Nicholas. Clearance by Ola Zola. Zubiaga. The green stepping in. Next day, making space for him on the right. Robin is marked very closely ahead on the touchline. Returned by McGarvey. Now, Robin. He paid a great compliment of three Spanish players all around him. Now we are on the break. This is Uforte. Satustica going up. Zamora's on the left, this is Zamora. Not quite decisive enough. All the self-defence, of course, has to beware these fast breaks from the Spanish side. Masters are hitting in the break. Close forward pass, going harmlessly into the Real box. Porta Baria escorting it back to his goalkeeper. Zubiaga, this is beyond Makana, Matsuraldi, Satrustigi. Good play by Aiken and then by McGrain. Salayeta has been given a mark and roll on Magavi. Side flag up at the far side of the field. The Celtic of the free kick. Lanzola, the clearance picked up by Oraldi. He's bustled from behind by Reed. Tavaria with the free kick. McAdam Stintz. Nicholas had come inside. Hitting Goris with the clearance. That's an excellent control from Oralde. He scored in the first leg in Spain. Yes! Still Oralde for Real. Zubiaga. Arrafate showing his pace, taking on McGrain. Robin back helping. That's a Spanish throw. I can't understand Danny McGrain's argument there. He seemed clearly to play the ball out. Zamora. Cross blocked by Sinclair. I think we can expect to see Graham Sinclair very close to Zamora throughout most of the match. Handball by McGrain. So a free kick to Real in a potentially dangerous situation. None of the tall Spanish defenders is going forward. <laughs> Referee waving the Celtic roll of two men back. The party plays it in. That's the Zubiaga. It's a welcome sight for Pat Bonner. Kick was taken by Uforte. Wasn't a very good one. Was 
cleared out coming to Zubiaga. That was a reasonable shooting chance, but completely wasted. Sinclair trying to thread that through for Plomen. Highlights all of the fullback has shown plenty of pace in the early stage of the match. There's McGarvey. Silayeta marking him. And again, it's Celtic's corner kick. Robin with a kick. And long by Citrust again. Porta Barria, the sweeper. Celayet has made a lot of ground from that defensive position. Yeraldi was going through the middle. That's cut out by Karam for McLeod. Charlie Nicholas. On the green. Common. And inside Olaizola appeared to be impeded by the combination of Moraldi and Olaizola. Free kick taken quickly by McGrain and Nicholas is flagged offside. David Robin going a very positive run, sandwich between two defenders. Passed on by Ufarte. McGrain running into trouble. Ufarte has a twist again on the left. Veraldi through the middle. Well, showing a weakness, I think. Ufarte on his right foot. Going a good run on this occasion after winning the ball in that tackle with McGrain. They had options available both left and right. Chose to go right across, make an angle for the right foot shot, and certainly it's a very disappointing one when it flies towards Bonner. Celtic with the free kick. There's Nicholas picking on Goris. Corner kick this time on the Celtic left. Robin sprinting across. Nicholas hunting for space among the Spanish defenders. Laid in by Reed. There's McAdam. Not a bad header. Plenty of power. So back it came from the corner to Mark Reed. Floated cross. McAdam attacking the ball, a lot of power in the header, the target just missed by the right-hand post. Sinclair forcing it to McStay. Awaken. And once again, the Spanish side pulling everybody back. Celtic have played across the back for all day, I think. The Spaniards certainly would not object to that. Here's Sinclair. Robin with the throw. Doesn't reach Nicholas, and there's a Forte. Next day, McGrain. Not quite flighted far enough by McGrain. McLeod jabbing it forward. McGarvey battling for it, and he's penalised for a spot of pushing as he came in. A protest from McGarvey, but I really think that this will be a fair decision when we see it again. Lobbed forward, McGarvey very determined going for it, pushing the defender away from the ball. Lafarte, by the opposing number 11, Charlie Nicholas. That's intended for Proven. It wasn't a good enough pass, though, and will Celtic get from that to throw in? Well, it's all back to Zamora. Sacristigi, 
into space, but McGrain has plenty of time to start another Celtic build-up. 15 minutes gone, still no scoring. Celtic accordingly trailing by these two first leg goals scored in Spain. Misunderstanding between McStay and Proven. Pushing by Sinclair on Zamora. The free kick will be taken by Ufartne. Zamora, followed by Sinclair. A bit away from the Celtic man. Well, that's not an effort they'll be proud of. Jesus Zamora. Taking the forward ball, it turns very well, and Sinclair quickly beats him coming inside, but the final shot not good enough. Adams header, Nicholas touching it on, McGarvey's on the end of it. No problem. Celtic will need a great deal, I think, from Lady Proven tonight on the right. He's certainly showing an appetite for the task. There's McGarvey. Proven supporting. Good early cross. Good clearing header, and Zubiaga will take it away for Real with Uraldi on the break. One against two. Karam is there, covered by Aiken. Well taken by Bonner. Moraldi showing his menace on the break. Showing a lot of pace and good close control, Pedro Moraldi. He took on McAdam very well. McAdam battling to get back. Aiken was waiting inside and the cross taken by Bonner. Stay changing the point of the attack to the left. McLeod gave him no angle there, really. It's Diego for Real. We haven't seen much of him in midfield so far in the match. McGarvey. Flashing in on the misunderstanding of all the Spanish defenders. An ambitious effort for not testing our Canada. Cynical foul by Diego. Well beaten by Charlie Nicholas. A warning for Diego. Maybe lucky at that. That was a great piece of close control by Charlie Nicholas. And the tackle quite cynical. Province free kick. Was much too high, it was bending, I think, but again, not testing our Canada way over the top. No problem, he's having a tough task getting away from all right, Zola. Rain. Oh, that's great play by Nicholas. He's lost the advantage for a moment, he's got it back. Great little chip, Silieta with the clearance. Next day, the pass cut off, retrieved all by Sinclair. Rain's pass goes astray and the pressure goes off the Spanish defence.
Well, some great play there by Charlie Nicholas. Coming to nothing in the end. Zubiara with the forward header. Ufate beaten by McGrain. He got the deflection to win the throw. Nicholas turning Goris. Ramagavi. Positive well, run into the box, chance for the cross. And the Spanish cover was good. Well, they stopped by Aiken, but this Spanish defence has looked very resolute indeed. Very well organised. Always getting an extra man back in cover. Aiken for Celtic. Spanish side giving the Celtic back four on the freedom of the field. Unlucky for Mother McLeod, took his eye off that. Oraldi. Good challenge initially by McAdam, but. Zubiaga to Ufate. Well, maybe a problem. Danny McGrain wanted to throw, but it's gone to Real. Julio Olaizola with the throw for Real Sociedad. Just a trace of a limp there from Paul McStays. He went for that ball. Cloud off of the run, Porta Baria covering that all the way, spotted it early, came across number six. Once again, Graham Sinclair penalised for the challenge on Zamora. Chase for Mugabe. Silieta, his shadow is with him. Celtic's throw. Now, can Nicholas turn? Teasing the Spanish defence. Good header out by Silieta. Free-kick is given against McGrain for raising his boot too high. Indirect free-kick is awarded. All very much in the continental fashion. Danny McGrain, the man penalised. This is something I think that would not have been penalised in the domestic game. Across by Roy Aiken. Zubiaga, good sidestep on McStay. Also playing it forward, Satrustige beaten by McAdam. That's a good recovery by the striker. Created space now for Ufate on that left foot. And makes the A force to concede the corner kick. So the party will take the corner kick for Real, and they've certainly shown a lot of skill up front when they've come forward. Enough to keep the Celtic defence on its toes. Second chance now for Ofarty with the cross. That's a good ball, a great chance! Situation Celtic wanted to avoid. Pedro Oraldi on the 25th minute. Well, they'll 
certainly be an inquest among the Celtic defenders about this one. Corner kick initially was cleared straight back to Rapati. Now this is a good outswinging cross, but look at the space Oraldi has all on his own. One there is no chance. So Rapati's cross did the damage. Oraldi got the goal just as he did in the first leg in Spain. And Celtic are now faced with the prospect of scoring four times to stay in the European Cup. The problem wins a corner kick, and we've now got a hush all around Celtic Park. The away goal, which makes life so difficult now for Celtic. And Reid trying one from long range. Scoreline Celtic nil, Real Sociedad one. So the big question remains whether Celtic can score four times in 70 minutes and Charlie Nicholas so close to making it one apiece. He's won the corner kick. Robin's corner kick, and again a bit of climbing there by both Okaidam and Sinclair. So you're telling Nicholas, very crowded situation, did well to get the shot in, unless it came off a defender. Corey's with the clearance. You won't be in any way upset about that. Bill so McNeil and the Celtic dugout looking perplexed as well he might. Zatros Tigui forcing it back to Zubiaga. There's Diego through the middle for Oralde. Very much the danger man in a striking situation for Real. Free kick given for the challenge by Olaitola on Coven. 